hello youtube hello guys you are welcome back to my channel on this video i'll be sharing with you how to create a simple poster design in photoshop so the main core of this video has to do with how to use colors and how to create nice layouts so without further ado let's dive into this video the first thing we have to do is to click on the new file and over here we'll have the new document panel that actually comes up here we'll be setting up the dimension of our canva on which we'll be designing on so for this, I would like to set the unit of measurement in pixels and we'll be using the Instagram portrait frame size, which is 1080 by 1350. We'll set the resolution on 300 and we'll set the color mode on RGB because we intend to use this uh, content across web platforms and across uh, other mobile devices as well. So if you're done with that, you can choose to give your project a name over here and you leave other settings the way they are hit on the create button over here we have the canva workspace on which we'll be designing on and the first thing i would like to do here is to drag in the resource files i'll be using for this video do well to check the video description you'll find the link to the resource files in the video description so guys here are the resources i'll be using to create this design okay so the first thing i would like to do here in this design phase has to do with creating of the background so in order for me to create a solid field background in this tutorial, all I have to do is to slide over to the adjustment panel over here and click on it and slide over to the solid field color and I would like to sample a color over here. Here's the hex code for the color F8D202 is the hex code for this field color. I will click on the OK button. So after we're done with that, the next thing I would like to do is to enable this layer over here and make sure it is actually selected. Hit Ctrl T on the keyboard, holding Alt, left click and scale out equally from both ends and make sure it is actually fitted to your Canva, you can click on the check button. So after you are done with this, you can head over to change the blending mode of this uh, layer so that you can fit with the background field over here. So moving on, the next thing I also like to do here is to drag this beneath over here and enable the layer. Hit Ctrl T on the keyboard to transform. Right click and flip this clockwise. Okay, you can rotate this clockwise. Hold Alt, left click and drag out and make sure it is fitted into your Canva and click on the check button. So moving on, I would like to change the blending mode of this so that it can blend with the background. So I would like to change the blending mode to a blending mode of uh, let me say this to be precise works perfectly well. So I'll click on the OK button for that. So moving on, the next thing I would like to do here is to enable the subject image we'll be using. We'll be making use of Martin Lawrence image for this illustration. Over here, I got this image from the web, precisely from Google and I actually downloaded it into my PC. Now, looking at this image, you can see it has a background. How do you go about removing your background? It, this is just simple. You select the layer where you have the background and head over to your select on your menu here and slide over to subject. So you click on subject. After it's done processing, you can see it has actually selected the image. Okay, so I hit Ctrl plus to zoom in. I noticed something. The AI was unable to pick out this region, so I will have to select that manually. Ctrl plus to zoom in properly and pick your lasso tool. Your lasso tool can do this. The keyboard shortcut is L to be precise. So I will hold Alt on the keyboard. It changes to minus, so I would like to select around this region like this to take out this background. Okay, so I hit Ctrl 0 to actually fit to screen back and moving on I would like to add a max layer over here so if yours is not actually looking like this you can hit ctrl i to invert the max like this okay ctrl i enables you to invert your max then moving on I would like to right click and convert the layer to its matte object by doing so it enables you to maintain the image quality whenever you scale it up or scale it down without losing its original quality so the next thing i would like to do on this image is to add depth to this image okay so the first thing i would like to do is to slide over to image over here slide over to adjustment and all the way 
to the black and white option and the keyboard shortcut is called odd shift control b okay i click on this this panel actually comes up and i would like to make uh, changes to the yellows and the reds to be precise for the reds i would like to uh reduce this this way as well as boost up the yellows this way okay i need more light to be on this so after you're done you click on the ok button that is for that so moving on i would like to still add more depth to this image by sliding over to the filter and enabling the camera raw option over here on the camera raw option i would like to turn on the before and the after so that you have a good preview of how the image was looking initially and afterwards so i will slide over to the basics and make adjustments to this image the first thing i would like to do here is to play with the adjustment by enhancing the adjustment to a good radius okay Please take note that when working with the camera raw, this is more of an eyeballing situation. There are no rules governing this. You allow your eyes to actually guide you to know when you're over applying a particular adjustment on an image. So for this, I'll slide over to contrast and enhance the contrast this way. Okay, slide over to highlight and reduce the highlight this way. Slide over to the shadows and take it up this way, enhance the brightness okay likewise the white as well can be reduced a little bit like this the black as well can also be adjusted a little like this okay my main focus here has to do with the texture and the clarity so I'll take this all the way to the top okay I need more textures and I would like to enhance the clarity to about something like this is okay so after you're done with that, slide over and head over to details over here. And over here on details, I'd like you to improve the sharpening to this radius, okay? It is more of an eyeballing situation as well. So you let your eyes actually guide you to know when you're over applying a particular adjustment. So over here, I'll apply the noise reduction, a little feel of noise reduction. You can see a preview of the before and the after okay so i'll head over to click on the ok button so this is how the image is actually looking like right now okay so i can choose to take this image and place it around somewhere here like this okay i can choose to place it around somewhere here like this or hit ctrl t scale it up properly and take it down like this okay so after you're done, click on the check button for that. And moving on, I would like to slide over to my uh, layer style over here. You can click on this and slide over to your blending options. Over here, over here on your blending options, you can slide over to the stroke. I need to add an outline to this. Okay, I'm setting the fill color of the stroke on white. Okay, FFF in six places. To be precise the opacity is set on 100 blending mode is set on normal position is set on outside the size of the stroke is set on 21 and you can leave other settings the way they are and hit on the ok button that is in terms of this so the next thing i like to do here is to place in my text so in order for me to place in my text i have to copy in the text i'll be using for this so guys here i have my text over here okay so moving on i would like to create my layout in terms of this so in order for me to do this i have to select the name of marvin's over here okay out and place it over here paste it in here and change my typeface to a bold typeface which is called gotham that's the name of the typeface so you set your font to gotham and set this under the black style category so if you like to change your sol your fill color to a value of black which is 20 21 21 21 is the actual hex code for that hit ctrl t to actually transform and scale this out like this check do well to enable the uh, all caps option over here so that the whole text can be in caps adjust your tracking this way as well and you can also adjust 
your leading that is the space between the text on the vertical axis like this okay so after you're done with that you can pick a move to and place this around somewhere here like this hit ctrl t to transform it out and scale it out like this okay so after you're done you can click on the check button okay that is in terms of this i'd like to take this portrait image down like this Okay, hit Ctrl T to transform it, scale it down a little bit and place it in like this. So after you're done with this, so after you're done with the name, the next thing I like to do is to place in the date of birth. So I'll pick my rectangle tool over here. Okay, make sure you, it is actually selected and the keyboard shortcut is called U. So I'll come over here, left click and drag out freely like this okay make sure it is properly aligned okay in order for you to turn on your guides like mine like this all you have to do is to hit ctrl h on the keyboard to enable the guides option for this i'd like to change the fill color of this shape to white okay and change the blending mode of this to this to be precise okay so hit ctrl enter and your keyboard ctrl d to deselect pick your date and drag it above the layer of the rectangle okay change the fill color of this to the same value as this okay and click on the ok button for this as well i would like to create contrast by picking the text tool here to create contrast i'll select the actual date when he was actually born and scale this by setting this on bold or extra bold to be precise thereby creating emphasis in terms of these two information over here so i can set this on medium and we are good to go so the next thing i like to do is to drag this in here and make sure it is actually aligned these two are not uh, aligned so i'll have to hold control on the keyboard move my mouse pointer to where i have the rectangle holding control the mouse pointer changes to a hand icon like this left click over here to make a quick selection and make sure this layer is actually selected that is the text layer head over to your move to align horizontally and vertically into the shape ctrl d to deselect ctrl t to transform you can actually scale down the size of the text like this and we are good to go so moving on i would like to create another new rectangle over here where we're placing in detailed information about martin's lawrence so I'll head over here, pick the rectangle tool and create a rectangle like this, of this size like this. Okay, so after I'm done, I would like to change its fill color as well to use a similar fill within this. So this design is more of me applying the triadic color scheme. The triadic color scheme has to do with three colors that are side by side each other on the color wheel. So you can notice that this is a value of yellow but a different shade of the same uh, color so i would like to use a lighter value like this a darker value like this to create contrast okay so after i'm done i would like to place in the other set of information so after i'm done copying the text i'll pick my text tool over here left click and drag out like this okay and pasting the text in here like this okay so i'll click on the check button click on the move tool and drag this into the shape like this make sure it, it is actually aligned head over to your character panel please if you don't have yours over here you can enable it from the window over here as well okay so on the character panel here i would like to adjust the leading that is the space between text on the vertical axis you can choose to increase the size to four to be precise like this okay so moving on i also like to change the alignment by applying the paragraphs okay if yours is not also enabled here you can enable it from the window and make sure the paragraph option is selected so i will justify this by using the justify last left so i'll click on this and make sure i'm selecting this rectangle layer over here hold control 
on the keyboard move your mouse pointer to where you have the rectangle icon the square icon inside the rectangle like this left click to make a quick selection of that rectangle select left click to pick the text layer pick your move to and align this horizontally into the space ctrl d to actually deselect you can still choose to hit ctrl t to scale this down properly into the shape as well so moving on i can come over here head over to the characters adjust the space between the text i think this is too spaced out so i'll set this to about six to be precise okay and return the opacity back to 100 okay that is in terms of this so moving on the next thing i would like to do here is to make a duplicate of this martin's lawrence text over here so I'll hold alt left click to drag this out like this okay so after i'm done i would like to hit ctrl t to scale it out and place it around somewhere here like this okay so after i'm done i'll like like to click on the check okay so I'll click on the check slide over to the colors and change the field to white okay so i'll click on the ok button so moving on i would like to change the field uh, the blending mode for this to a blending mode of this nature like this i would like to still make a duplicate of this new layer here by hitting ctrl j and hit ctrl t take it and place it around somewhere here like this click on the check button and drag the layer beneath the martin's lawrence image like this and you have your design actually looking like this okay so this is how the design is actually looking like so far so ladies and gentlemen i think we've come to the end of this video if you do find this video helpful do well to smash the like button right away guys do well to smash the like button so that the youtube algorithm can suggest this content to other graphic designers on the youtube search engine as well and if you are new to the channel and you are yet to subscribe what are you waiting for guys do well to smash the subscribe button smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever i upload new content and if you are a returning subscriber Thank you for always watching guys. Thank you for always watching. Please and please, if you have any questions or comments, do well to leave them in the comment section. I'll be attending to them. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next. <music>